Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a Class A toy hauler. This is the all new 2021 Thor Outlaw Model 38MB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that we traveled all this way to Jacksonville to show the all new 2021 Thor Outlaw. Now, before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, you guys heard it right. Finally, our first Class A toy hauler. Yep, it was very exciting. The it Class is. C toy hauler. I hope you guys was, enjoy. Was awesome. And this is gonna be even better. Oh, but before we begin, also one last announcement. Um, Andrea, did you want to tell everybody about our new merchandise? Yes, Bing. Yep, we got <laughs> shirts and um, mugs, hashtag mug life. And you can get it, you can get the Matt and Andrea, you can get the prime pooping position, or you can get the Matt jump. And um, it's just a great gift. Yes, people. guys, I really had to push for those mugs. Yeah, and here's what we're doing. Somewhere in this video, we will have a discount code, but I'm not gonna tell you where. Uh -oh. And so if you wanna save, pick a percentage, 10%. If you wanna save 10%, you gotta watch the whole video and find the <laughs> discount code. Let's begin. Model is 38 MB, but the actual tip to tip length of this gas motor home is 39 feet, nine inches. This is the Thor Outlaw. This is the biggest gas motor home that they make because it has the toy hauler part, which is really cool. Now I would like to say, there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video who's gonna to wanna to put the, a car, like a mini or a smart car in the back. Do not do that, you cannot do that, you should not do that. But it's good for like quads or golf carts or anything like that. Coming down the side here, you have these nice, big, bus style chrome mirrors. Totally forgot about up front. You have these nice, big lights right there. And I love the little accent lightings right there. That's when you're driving cool. down the road, you, you definitely know this is a Thor Outlaw. Coming down the side here. Now, even though this is a 2021, it still has the Ford V10 engine in it. it, it did, but it still got binned as a 2021. So it's a win-win a if you're trying to get that Ford V10. Right here's the tires. Look, Andrea, they're the Michelins. 255-80R, 22.5. And as you can see, you know it, it does have the nice shiny Alcoa rims. Also in the mirrors, you have your left camera, right camera, and reverse. And then you do have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Coming down the side here, look at this, Andre. You have not one, but two awnings. And look at that, two doors. That is so it. cool, so unique. We'll check out that door in a second. And it is power awnings with LED lights. And we're not gonna check them out right now. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside with sound bar. And then check this out. These are your all aluminum slam latch doors. Right here is your potable water. And here's your propane tank. Now we'll have tank sizes, lengths, widths, specs, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. And then check this out. I love the aluminum slam latch doors. Very nice. Okay, we get some storage. Now, now this Thor Outlaw, it's in a class of its own because it's a class A toy hauler. But for those of you who are wondering, because of the 22.5 inch tires, full body paints and aluminum slam latch doors, it is a tier four motorhome. Now look at that. Look at those batteries. Wow. That's interesting. There's not gonna be a ton of um, external storage here. That's because of the garage. Right. Oh, that's a big door. That's a good amount oh, of Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. You know what? That's actually really good. Yes, ma'am. Right over here, Andrea, look at that. We got a place to uh, leash up the dog. I like how it's a Thor emblem. Look at this, guys. Second door to the garage area. That's so cool because um, they And don't it has have... an awning over the door. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. 
Got more storage there and more storage here. Also right there is a propane quick connect. Nice. Cool. Coming around the back, no bumper for your stinky slinky. And I understand why, it's okay, because it has a ramp door. We have an 8,000 pound hitch. Believe me folks, this motorhome cannot tow that. You can tow at least 5,000 pounds, but you really, especially in this beast, you need to check your how heavy you weigh before you tow any more than that because of the garage part. You got a backup camera right there, another awning for the back patio, and this ramp door. No ladder, but it's okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, Matt. Do you need help? Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, oh. have to, I have to kind of pull it down, which I like because it's... Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Nice, that wasn't hard. We should have practiced before we started recording. That's okay. okay. part of the show if the if Matt can do it anybody can do it see. definitely guys okay so they go into there are they okay wait oh yeah yeah what like that? yeah perfect that's how they lock in oh my gosh I love that so look there's a, a door right here but it's weird because of the cable yeah so i don't know if steps are supposed to go there i'm not sure but yeah here's the patio it's pretty cool and awesome and we'll take a look at that more once we're on the inside and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button with our rv salesman's goal pull this wife up to jacksonville just to show you an outlaw toy haul nobody nobody <laughs> Notice oh, how right. he was all silent, you guys. <laughs> right here, look at this. Fuel station. Here's where you fill up your unleaded fuel. Oh, look. oh yeah, yeah. For unleaded your, fuel. Your motorhome. Look at this, it has its own fuel tank. That is so cool. For your for toys. Your toys, your bikes, your motorcycles, all that good stuff. Right here, in case you're curious, this is an airflow vent. They have another one on the other side. Also, what's very cool, look at that. It has a one piece TPO roof two air conditioning units on top and one air conditioning unit on a side. It is a gas motor home with three air conditioning units. I love that. Okay. Right here and here, storage in your 50 amp power cord. And here's where you fill up your more fuel. Okay. Very cool. I see the inverter. Yep, yep. the inverter. Oh, that's a transfer switch. Finishing up with the uh, driver's side. We got storage. Storage is pretty good on here. Oh yeah, look at the wet bay. That's a beautiful wet bay, ain't it? Yes, it is. And I like how it has an outside shower, yep. water filter. Yep. Right oh. here is your instant hot tankless water heater. Nice. And then look at that. More storage right there. Okay. And right here is your Cummins Onan 5500 gasoline generator. And your auto leveling. Well, Andrea, here's what we're going to do. The 10% code to, if you want merchandise, is right here. Bing! Promo code OUTLAW. That was easy. Yeah. Do that and you save 10%. Well, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. It feels so, feels so nice good. in here. All right, guys, light is in. Cargo carry capacity, 3,823 pounds. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, I'm walking to the bathroom. I have plenty of space. There's the bathroom and there's the master bedroom. I love that the master bed is still accessible with the slides in. And as you can see, there is the garage back there. Great. 
Now while the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Thor Outlaw and three things you don't like about it. We do know Thor reads the comments and we're super excited because this is the first time we're having a Class A toy hauler on our show. And again, we couldn't have done it with each and every one of you guys. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Wow. It's just a lot of coach, you know? It is. It's, it, it's, a, it's a beast, you know? Yeah. So let's get started up here, Andrea. Again, it's a 2021, but it was still built on the older chassis. It's the V10 engine, which, you know, this one's actually already sold, but everyone from here on out is gonna have the new Ford V8. You have your auto leveling right there, speakers, nice black leather seats, look at that. Very masculine, right, with the outlaw and the red stitching. Why don't you sit in my co-captain seat, Andrea? Oh, yes. Very nice. Very comfortable, and look. Oh yeah, very nice. This is actually really nice. It's yep. sturdy. Yep. Love it. Up there, you do have your, um, cabinetry above very nice yep very nice very nice very you got nice. these slow rise shades yep slow rise very nice these seats do swivel yep and, and then look i do like this screen it's the big screen you can see your left blinker right blinker in reverse also there's uh navigation also you have a place for the pedestal table yep and the up front here we do have a bunk over the cab traditional bunk over the cab it holds set uh 500 pounds and then over here in the living room area, Andrea, nice cabinetry, I think. I like the color, you know? Let me do this. So they can hear us. So you can hear us. Right here you have a soap, or wait, you have your cabinetry above with your beta white lights. Ding, ding. You got more cabinetry above. Very nice. And more cabinetry right there. You have very fancy artwork. Andrea, that's Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then right here is your sofa. Again, black leather sofa with the red stitching and the pillows. Again, we talked about this in the Outlaw Class C. Andrea wasn't a fan, but you know, this is a, a masculine motorhome. And then across is the TV area. Matt, real yeah. quick, is this, this is a, a jackknife sofa. Yes, okay. jackknife. And then right across is the TV. And you guys might be wondering, with the motorhome so long, why is it so scrunched up in here? Again, it's because the toy hauler part. You have your dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. There is seat belts. You have your slow ride shades above or um, beside. And yeah, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 Andrea, you ready for this? Yes. I don't think you're ready. MSRP on a 2021 Outlaw is $226,763. Wow. MSRP for a gas motorhome. Sale price, Andrea, 30% off to $159,995. Wow. That is a $67,000 discount. That's insane. But Andrea, there's always a chance I can get you a little bit of a better price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com uh, or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get an official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Also, there is a contact me page on the website, Andrea. Let's continue the video. Okay, I want to comment real quick. I like this. If you guys can see closely on the slide, this design, it's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right, let's check out this All kitchen right. area. Look at this kitchen. You know, uh, I like this color cabinets. The cabinets are great. Adjustable shelf. Uh, Thor seems to be going away from that high gloss. Yes, thank you. Going goodness. with the matted look. We've got the window here. Yep. Nice solid surface countertop. It's like a Corian material. Double right. sink. Okay. And we got the extension. Perfect. Oh! Oh my God! It's another eighty-three dollar trash wow. can. Wow! That's two in a row. <laughs> Congratulations! All right, here we 
we go. We got the confection microwave. Yes. That's a great size. Very I, nice. You know what? I like this. This is nice. I like how it's the back and sides flash. Yep. Okay, so interesting. We have a two burner cooktop and the one burner induction. Very nice. So I like how they give you a mix. Yep. We got it. drawers here. Oh. One, two, three. Three. Four. Three. Four. Got four. A big four drawer. drawers. Got a cabinet here. Uh huh. With shelves. Very nice. And that's adjustable shelves, guys. Yep. Over here, you have your light panel, and, and you get a residential whirlpool. Very nice. Runs off your inverter. Very nice. Up there, you got a max air fan. Uh huh. And just a great kitchen. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Pocket door on the bathroom. Wow, good size shower. This is my jam. It's the 30 by 36 Oh my gosh, shower. Matt, look at that. Because it. it's oh, the and look toy at that hauler. Height. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So people are like 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", and they have a hard time. This is great because it's starting to slope up. That's this is really great. awesome. Close this. I like this. This is actually pretty cool because, you know, it doesn't feel like it's glass all the way. Uh-huh. Um, up here we have cabinetry. Yep. Max air fan. Nice towel rack. Look, look at all the cabinetry in here. Very nice. I like the medicine cabinet. Very nice. I like how you get counter space in here. You got your sink. Another cabinet. And oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Show that again. <laughs> Let's see, Matt. Uh, I need to see this. I'm interested. <laughs> it's now time. Uh oh, for the, let's it's see. It's now time for the toilet test. I like the flooring in it here. Looks like good height. It's a good height for me. I like it. It's lower. Um, I don't know if this is in the way. Well, it's so it's a prime pooping position. Toilet placement. We, we would definitely take that out and put it right there. But yeah, Andrea, it's porcelain. I'm comfortable. It's a prime poop position. Yay! Very nice. And I do like the pocket slide door. Me too. So it's going to be easier when the slide out. All right, so check out the uh, entrance here into the master. You can yeah. see it's very big well, with a pocket the door. Height. Yeah, I mean, this because is again, great. This is going up because of the garage area. Double, double oh! deco. Double deco. I like wow, it. Wow, that's cute. It's so art deco. <laughs> We got more storage right There's here. There's your pedestal table for up front. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Got, oh, okay. More storage. Yep. Very I nice. I like that there's a window back there. Yes, ma'am. Counter or, yep. And you got three nice drawers. One, and, two, and three. And Matt, you did miss the four drawers over here under the wardrobe. I didn't miss them. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Very. I mean, it's huge. And I love the height in here. Me makes too. it don't feel as claustrophobic and you do have a bed slide right there on Dre. it's very nice can you try you have your windows that light. on the side let's check this out Bing. so i like that there's windows on both sides yep nice cabinetry again a little bit of a nightstand here you got usb uh -huh. you got a queen size bed and probably not storage under it i wouldn't think oh no oh yeah. wow guys i did not expect that nice great now over here in the garage area, look at this. Again, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. You have this. Got a step it, it down. can convert into a dinette like it is, or you can flip it like this, and it makes a lower bunk. And then right up there, you do have an upper bunk. Very nice. Max look, air fan. A TV and everything. Yeah, this is cool. You know, when you're chilling on your deck yeah, there, you sure. can be sitting. Oh, look, there's a TV. And the third air conditioning unit to keep this this area cool back here. You have a little workstation right here. Cubbies up there. Oh, yep. yeah, and that TV does come out more. Yep, and then look, they covered up the steps so oh, nobody falls in. Oh, see that, guys? Cargo carry capacity of the garage is 1,600 pounds. That's pretty good. And I'll try it. Let's come out here on this deck. Wow. Windows, I love that. I mean, this is just nice. Again, you have an awning above. And then right here, we have your lipper component. Doors. Okay, with the screens. Nice. Yep. Well, Andrea. Oh, and you do have your D-rings in here. That's fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the door outlaw. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the outlaw and three things we don't like about it. Andrea. 
What should we do first? Let's do three things we just like about it. Okay. This light, okay? There's a step there. Here's, here's my first one. I dislike the small living area. It comes with the turf, okay? It, for me, I'm like, man, this is a 40 foot motorhome. I feel like you should not have this type of setup. But again, the reason why is because you have the garage and they need to stuff everything small in here. So that's one. Andrea, two. You know, I don't really have too much to, to pick about. We all know I don't like the balances and the pillows. I've commented yes. before, but I am going to say I'm not a fan of the vents in the floor. Okay. I feel like higher-end motorhome, yep. it should not have vents in the floor. Now again, they might be doing that for a reason because of the garage True. part. Um, but I'm going to agree. And then, Andrea, you know what I'm going to say? This is going to sound a little weird. I'm not digging the furniture too much in this motorhome, neither. Right? Like, I liked it. I liked it in the Class C. But I feel like it's too like dark bad. too too like too masculine or whatever right i feel like they could have done a toy uh and, and again you got to think about the demographic that's buying this right probably a biker guy or something like that you know and, and so it's going to appeal to them but i feel like they could have still done like you, you know how like ford does like the king ranch and it's still tough but still classy I feel like they could have done something like that with the furniture. You know what? I don't think it would have been bad if they would have changed the balances and the pillows. I think it might have looked good in here with the dark and with the dark sofa right. and the dark furniture. It's it's really just I think that, but I think it could have looked a lot different if they went with a lighter balance. Right. But again, I I do like the fact that it is different. Right. I do like that. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready? You want to go first? You go first. Okay. Well, I'm going to end with that. Here's what I'm going to say. You ready for this? I absolutely love this shower. I love that it's a, it's not, I don't love that it's a 30 by 36. I do love that. But um, the fact that because it's going on the incline, how tall it is. There's a lot of people, not me, but a lot of people who have to slouch while taking a yes. shower. So if you're taller than 6'5", and the bedroom area yes. where you don't need the crouch and how high the roofs are this motorhome definitely can work for you so that's one two andrea i love the garage oh man no that was my third <laughs> no i mean i just oh my gosh this is so cool you know i could see myself sitting here just relaxing by the water well a second dinette the area screen, you know, sitting at the lake awesome. yep and, and awesome. not only that, I, I gotta add, I like the fact that it also makes bunk beds. So like, I like, this is kind of like a Swiss Army knife or like a Leatherman. Um, you know, it could serve as a dinette, a garage, a bunkhouse, so many features. And then three, just cause, you know, this patio area is freaking awesome. It is. It's a ramp door to hold your toys. Again, golf carts, UTV, stuff like that and just it gives you that much more space and then if you have if you're right by a lake you know you can fish off your pier and it's just cool. a, a really awesome just really awesome well that's it andrea that's the review thank you so much for everybody who's watching again if you have any questions about this motorhome please call me text me send me an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my cell or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. As you know, this is the first time we reviewed a Class A toy hauler, so we are interested for everybody's feedback. Let us know what you think. I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are doing well. And also... Don't forget about our merchandise. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. Again, you can get that and the promo Andre, code. Tell, say the promo code one more time. Outlaw. O U T L I W. Ask the promo code. Save ten percent. We appreciate everybody. Great. Um, that's it. Again, all the info is down in the description below. 
Links to in stock inventory down in the description below. And this one's already sold, so you gotta get the next one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.